And we begin another incredible week of learning Hachzeik Musar Yoimi as we wind down Baruch Hashem learning Pirkei Avois. Says the Mishnah, the 11th Mishnah in the 5th Barak. Arba Mi'ois Bideois. There are four Mi'ois, four categories, four types of Deois when it comes to different temperaments. And we'll see exactly what that means in a moment. Number one. <clears throat> Someone who's angered, easy to anger, but he's easy to appease. He loses his char with his loss. Says What does that mean? What this means is the hefzer is great than the reward. Because what gain? Is it that he's easily calmed down? If the anger is in his pocket, he's at any moment, boom, he's going to get angry. So what's going to happen is, his actions will be disastrous. Because through his kas, he will come to different sins. And it will sway him from the road. In a moment. And who could fix that which is crooked, that which is destroyed, during while one is angry? Even if he gets calmed down easily, so it's true, Baruch Hashem, at least he gets calmed down, but he's losing all his reward because he just easily is angered. And easily destroys. Category number two, kasha lichais. Someone who is difficult to anger, but when he gets angry, ooh, ah. Kasha lichais, he's difficult. Took peace. Yasa hafsev is charay. This person as well, his loss is outweighed by his gains. Pizas chay merubah lafsev. In this case, the schar is merubah, is more than the loss. Since he only gets angry at times, he gets he gets angry only rarely, and then over only something which is truly terrible. Nimsa, so what comes out? The majority of his actions are appropriate. And even though through that anger, he doesn't get appeased easily. But still the taiv, the good is greater. Because usually he's pretty calm and usually he's pretty even keeled and tolerant. So an interesting chiddish of Rabbeinu Yaina, even though the first two categories, Yatsa, excuse me, I read it completely wrong. Now it makes a lot of sense. I was about to ask a question. What's going on? In both cases, this guy sounds like he's a good guy. So let's read it correctly. The Hafsid is lost due to his gain, meaning he, he ends with an overwhelming gain. Because since he only gets angry at far-reaching times and only when very appropriate, therefore he ends with the Zahar. But now, category number three, kasha lechais, and obviously each category is getting higher. Category number three, is he difficult to get angry? And when he gets angry, v'noyach lechais, calms down right away. Such a person coins the Mishnah, is a chasid. Inyan, hakas, v'roi v'apam, v'roi v'nei adam, hiroa, rabo, kas, is a terrible thing, kama shenemar, ish af yigara, madai, nubal chema, rapash, an angry man, it's full of averis. Kas is akin, is, temper, is tantamount to worshipping idols. Because when someone gets mekas, explains your Yaina. What that means is his Yitzhahara is ruling his body. So the Yitzhahara says, today do this. When someone gets angry, all of Eros are open to him. Yet there are times when anger is rewarded. 
when we channel the anger, and this is one of those things that we see that everything can be channeled. When you channel the anger towards those who are deserving of Hashem's wrath, as we know, that Pichas took revenge for Hashem. There are times that anger is permissible to some people. And it's appropriate for them to get angry. Any time we do not take revenge and be a grudge like a stake is not a Tamil Chacham. Gemara in Yuma. Shouldn't easily forgive on his honor. Someone who's acting against the Tamil Chacham, he should hold his own. Melech of all of Klai Yisrael was not Michael Shemin Gera. Shots with Tirasa, he's evil Shemin Benayim, with David Melchus Nifter. Command the Shleim of his son was Yitzhak Chachmasech, Volotiri, Vishleim, Shaol. Do what's according to your wisdom, do not allow Volotiri, and do not go down. Vishleim, Shaol, Masin, Mel Shal, Shalikas, Umachal, Kavaydai, Shenenash. Whereas on the opposite side, we see by Shaol, who wasn't, didn't care about his own honor, he got punished. So he Shaul was Michael's covered, but what? And Hashem allowed him to be punished. eventually lost the kingdom. This is what it means. It's difficult to get angry and easily appeased. He is. There are times you do have to get angry. There are times that you're not able to not be bakatsky. Do not be sweet because others could just swallow you up. There's no mitzvah to be a pushover. But even in such a scenario where you're supposed to get angry and it's right to get angry, but still you have to realize appease right away. While you're angry, not after the angry anger leaves you. During the anger, it's easy to appease. It's on the flip side, if someone easily is angered and it's difficult to appease, he is a rush. There's no limit and no end to his terrible wickedness. We'll pick it up from the 12th Mishnah in the next year.